Hi everyone, the Cyman rises back with more deadly premonition origins. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here, man. I think it's time to take on the raincoat killer. Maybe. Holy moly, and there he is, he's taking off his robe to reveal his Welcome to Greenvale. true self. Agent Francis Dork Morgan. Ah, I finally got to see the real Greenvale. I knew you country folk were shy. It took you long enough to show me who you really are. Dork. This is a wonderful and powerful town. Especially when it is raining. I always get depressed when it rains, especially in this town. This town has two great treasures. Do you know what they are, York? Those seeds are one of them. But I don't think they deserve to be called a treasure. An ordinary man you could never appreciate their true value. But you'll agree with my selection. On the second treasure, anyway. I don't disagree with treasure number two. Emily sparkles like a precious gem. Indeed, indeed. This town changed since she came here. The goddess from the city gave us the fruit of knowledge and gave us sin. When I first saw her, I realized I was such a fool. A fool for being satisfied by the petty girls from this countryside town. Ah, uh, George, I agree you were a fool. And you are a fool, even now. Shut it, York! You're the fool here. Becky, Diane, and Carol. They all died right in front of you. You couldn't save even one of them. Not even one. You're the worthless fool here. And that's what proves it. But me, unlike you, I am strong. I have power. My mother taught me. The strong, who can overpower others, is always correct and right. My mother stepped on my face with her stiletto heels because she had power. And when the heel pierced my cheek, I learned to respect her. Since then, I obtained power of my own and found my own disciples. I became divine. All I need now is that goddess of fate and grab her with my hands. I want Emily. In her stiletto heels. You're out of your mind. The goddess won't smile for you anymore, George. York, have you ever shot down a deer? Oh, it's so different from shooting a man. Deer hunting is great. They can be erotic creatures. Those Black eyes, firm hips, and slender legs. Hunting is a sign of power, especially deer hunting. Did you know, York? From time to time, there's a family of deer that comes down to the graveyard. I shot them full of bullets. And they still remain standing. First, I thought they were zombies, but when I snuck up on one, cut its stomach out, I found the truth. made those deer invincible. George, no Olympics for you. You'll fail the doping test. You'd be good food for wild animals, though. Shut your crap, York. I have these seeds because I'm chosen. Come to me, and that proves my divinity. Holy moly, what's he done? What's he done?
Oh, he needs more power. It appears. What the hell, man? This is the mark my mother gave me. Proof of power. The red tree. The red tree? You've got that all wrong, George. That's the mark of child abuse. <sighs> Holy moly. That's no use, York. Carol's death gave me eternal strength. It's surging through my body. I can no longer be killed. York, aren't you honored? You'll be the first to congratulate me for my new powers. Yeah. Holy moly, man. Holy moly, how do we take him out? How do we take him out? <laughs> Holy moly, man. Holy moly. Oh, man. Oh yes, that's like shoot at the back, yeah. So clever. Come get some man. Indeed, indeed, eh? There you go, the Magnum, the power of the Magnum. Let's take another one. Oh, you faggot. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go, how do you like that? You're so clever. Indeed I do. Wait, more. Getting Anna and Becky involved was all too easy. Carol and Thomas built a secret club for me. All we had to do was tell them about it, and they were giddy to join us immediately. That's where I used the seeds on Anna and Becky. Amazing results, let me tell you. They went berserk, like cats. Especially enjoy the seeds. So I made my decision. She would be the first sacrifice for my immortality. George, your poetic prose is a bit confusing. Let me reword this so it makes sense. You chose Anna as your first victim, so you could be a first to commit a murderer. And you framed Thomas so it looked like he did. <laughs> you saw him, didn't you? All made up. He knew that he was only being treated as a substitute for Emily. He knew that. Carol knew too. But they played along with your sick games. Oh my, you're making me cry. Here's the one who told me about the rainbow killer. About how to become divine, too. He didn't believe any of it. He told me. It all made sense. Why was 
was I born in such a run-down dump? Why did my mother beat me every day? Why didn't Emily walk me? Ultimate warrior. Ultimate warrior. One warrior nation. Oh, look at him. Warrior. Oh, look at him. He's doing the ultimate warrior thing. Oh my god. Look at the voids, man. Holy moly! The power of the warrior! Holy moly! With imagination like that, you belong in the zoo. Hollywood zoo. There's a blanket now! Indeed, indeed, how did I get me something? <laughs> oh, moly. Oh, no! Oh, shit! Ooh, heal, man. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Alright, let's go, go, go. Hold on a minute. He's a hill, don't I? He's a hill. Alright, let's go, 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 man. Oh, how do I get him, man? Oh shit. Let's settle. You don't think you can beat me, Dork? Oh, what the hell? What must I to do, man? Oh, wow, well, man. How do I get, get him to turn his back, man? Let's 
Listen. Oh Hello. man, how do I get? Oh man, how do I get this back? Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We got him. Before we finish them. What the hell do we do? We shoot the axe. How come I can't move? Oh, 
Aw oh, man, what the hell do I do? What's going on, man? Oh, what the hell? What the hell did you do? I can't move, I don't understand how... Why can't I move? Oh man, what the, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, man. Man. What the hell do you have to? Oh, I don't understand what you do, man. Oh man, that's what you have to do. God's sake, I was wondering what the hell you have to do, man. 
Holy moly. Wasted all my bullets, man. Wasted all my ammo. you're going to lose. Holy man, what a way to die. What a stylish way to die. Oh, what happened? What happened? Save it. Oh, what now, man? Holy moly, talk to me. You will also be able to return back soon. What the hell? Very soon, you'll be able to go back to where you came from. <laughs> Holy moly, man. Laughing at what are you laughing at? <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? What's so funny? Holy moly. You also need to have more fun. I'll play with you a little if you like. No thanks, no thanks. Expect no praise. You did nothing but your duty. The hell? Why is he like all blacked out? Faded out. Holy moly, who's that? Francis, well done. I'm sure your father wants to congratulate you. The hell? What weirdness is this? What weirdness is this? Why is he holding? There's still something you need to do. Open that envelope. Is that his father then, or what? There is still something you need to do. Open that envelope. Holy moly. Well, that's Emily, isn't it? Is that Emily? It's indeed all sexy, or what?
Holy moly. Was she holding like a... That, like, that's Tyson, isn't it? What's that all about then? Holy moly. What's going on? Agent York, finally you're awake. How long have I been out? A whole day, uh, plus ten hours or so. I wanted to challenge you to a game, but uh, uh, you were asleep. Emily, which room is Emily in? Emily? What, she hurt too? She hasn't come into the hospital. What the hell? What? I told Kaysen to bring her here. Kaysen? Well, Kaysen came. I mean, he's the one who brought you here. Uh, which reminds me. He asked me to give you this. What the hell? What is it? I don't know. He just asked me to hand it to you after you woke up. Anyway, you solved the case, right? Hey, do you want to play some chess? Sorry. I'll have to take a rain check. I have an urgent issue I need to attend to. And I need to leave the hospital. Holy moly, man. Don't tell me Kaysen's the true mastermind. Holy moly. Zack. I have a bad feeling about this. And Emily was holding that doll of Kaysen, wasn't she? Goodness gracious me, man. Goodness gracious me. Kaysen's the true mastermind. Holy moly, man. Of course we save it. What's going on? What's going on? Key from case in there. Got map, okay. Well right, then I guess we go in the car then, yeah. Alright guys, that will do it for this part, and if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and comment, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and help me rise.